Now that you understand what Alibaba is and what it can do, let's jump right in and start looking around. This is the homepage. It looks very similar to a standard web store like eBay or Amazon. The homepage shows featured listings and hot deals. On the left side, it shows all the different categories. In most cases though, you want to just search for really finding products. The best way to really drill down and explore is to experiment with different search terms rather than stumbling through the category tree. So for the sake of simplicity, I will continue a previous example of a keyboard as a demonstrative product. Now, before we start doing anything, I would highly recommend making an account. Even if you aren't sure what you're looking for or aren't sure if you're ready to buy yet, making an account makes general research much easier because you can save items to your favorites and maintain search histories. Alibaba will remember things you search for and make things just overall easier when you have an account with them. So to make an account, just go to the login page here and hit this little join free link. Fill in all of your details and create your account. As a tip, I would highly recommend using a business email if you have one. So if you don't own any of your own domains, maybe even consider making something like admin at yourdomain.com or even Alibaba at yourdomain.com. The reason being is that when you start messaging these manufacturers, you will get a fair amount of email spam. I personally also just in general like to keep my business emails in their own account. Plus, you have to realize that these suppliers will see your email address and it's good to appear as professional as possible. These are business people just like you, right? They will validate you in their own way and decide whether they want to do business with you, right? Just like you will validate them in the same way. So having a goofy email like Bob is super awesome at hotmail.com doesn't really give a great first impression. So I will discuss professionalism and cultural differences in a future section, but just know that professionalism and manners are extremely important culturally when working with the Chinese. Now that you have your account, let's try a few searches. I'm going to start with a very simple keyword and we'll work from there. Detailed product searches will have their own lesson later on, so for now, we're just trying to get our feet wet. After entering your search, the results come back. There are two main tabs products and suppliers. The products tab will contain a big list of every single item, like individual item, fitting your search term. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of keyboards, 270 pages worth. So without even clicking any, you can see important details like price and MOQ. The suppliers tab is company based rather than individual product based. Think of it like looking at blue Nike shoes on the product tab, then being able to see all of Nike shoes on the supplier tab. The th three shown items here are their top sellers for your search term, but they will most likely have many more products than you know, just these three shown here. Let's click a product. At the top, you will see FOB price here. FOB is a shipping term that stands for free on board, which is sort of a confusing nomer. What it really means is that this is the cost to you without shipping. So it, it, it essentially means price excluding shipping. Then we have things here like, you know, MOQ. Now, there are a lot of other items, but for an introductory sake and as a beginner, they really don't matter much at this point. For example, suppliability is the max that they could sell you. So if you want to buy 200,000 of these each month, their factory cannot support that as here they say their limit is 150,000. So the main things for a starting off Alibaba user is price and MOQ. You have to keep it simple at first. When looking at products, you can scroll down and they will always have very detailed specifications and product details, plus some pictures. This example of a product page is actually quite simple and more simple than most. At the bottom of the page is a contact form for messaging the supplier. There's also a link for this at the top. Other important noteworthy items are the company's credentials. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There are scammers on Alibaba. You know, it's a very large site and it's up to you to do your due diligence and stick to reputable companies. Alibaba themselves provides two main certifications that every reputable company has. If a supplier does not have these two things, stay away. 
There is no situation where missing these is acceptable, in my opinion. The first is being a verified gold supplier. This goes hand in hand with some of the other certifications, such as the on-site check. On-site check means that Alibaba themselves has gone to the supplier's facility and verified that A, the facility exists, and that B, they're manufacturing what they say they're manufacturing there. Part of being a verified gold supplier is having this check done. So I would highly recommend only doing business when you see this little gold medallion up here. Being gold certified also means that they underwent an AV check, which basically means that Alibaba verified that they have their correct business licenses in China. In China, business licenses are a lot more required than they are in the US. Chinese factories have to get special licenses for their specific business type. Gold also includes Alibaba supplier assessment where they independently verify things like product quality, process management flow, plus production capability and human, human resource management. Under the medallion is a number, which is how many years they have been gold certified. The larger the number, the better. This one's been verified for seven years. This is a safe bet that they are reputable. Now, that said, just because a company is gold doesn't mean that their products are of perfect quality all the time. The certification is far from foolproof when it comes to the actual product. It's more about the reputation of the company itself. You will notice that unlike typical online stores, there's no add to cart button. It's only contact. Buying products is all through messaging and email basically, which means that it's a crucial step in the process. We'll go into the details later on, but for now, just know that this is where you start communications on the site. Another nice feature is the ability to add favorites. This will basically save the item into a list linked to your account so you can come back later and look at it again. This is a key tool when shopping around between different suppliers. Like an item? Favorite. It's better to have too many favorites saved than to lose track of where an item was. That about sums up the very general overview of how to use the site. There are obviously a lot more things that we will really, really drill down into later on in the course. But as a beginner, you now have a very general understanding of how to sort of navigate the site.